Wagwan people, we are back. Norwich City, Mission Impossible episode two, brothers. And we've got three Premier League games today coming for you. Leicester City, Arsenal and Watford. Now, can we get some points on the board? If you've not watched the first episode, watch it. Go back, watch it now, brothers. We've got Liverpool and Man City. So, spoiler alert, cover your ears if you've not watched it. We got off to a dreadful start, as you know. But we're here to do better than Daniel Farke did. Can we get a result today in any of these three games? Would be nice. Let's get into this. So Tim Krul keeping it cool in goal. Max Aaron saying just Cisse and Janos. I can't say his damn name. Uh, Gilmore, Cantwell and Norman in midfield. Mbuku, Rashika and Tulsis up front. So the 4-3-3 remains the same. The lineup remains the same. Armada still on the bench. We've also got Placetta on the bench. Can we do some good things? Brendan Rodgers comes here with Kasper Schmeichel in goal. Or Brighton and Marty Fafana. Soyonku and Grimaldo as a back five. Tillemans and Didi in midfield. Madison in front of them. And Patson Daka and Kramerich up front. No sign of Jamie Vardy. That's always a good thing. Iniacho on the bench. Come on, brothers. We need points. So I'd be happy if we get, say, four points on this episode today. A draw and a win out of the three games would be brilliant just to get us up and running. Can we do it? Here's St. Just. Okay, didn't have the greatest of starts against Liverpool. Did better against Man City, the boys. But we need them back two to start gelling as quick as we can. It is a new back line, as you know. But we couldn't rest on the players we've got. Grant Hanley was nowhere near Premier League status. Let's go into this, brothers. Here's Tullisis. Nice little spin move. Breaks away from two players. Go on, Tullisis. One of the better players at Norwich City. Can he find a cross? He does. Whips it in. Rashika. Good save from Shemichael nearby. He's still spilling about. Leicester City haven't got rid of it. Umbuku. Oh, just couldn't find the power. Leicester City get off one. Here's Campwell. Nice little ball over the top. Rashika takes a touch. He's in again. Rashika again. And straight down the throat of Kasper Schmeichel. Great start for Norwich City. The crowd getting behind him. 30 minutes in now. Here's Mbuku. Lays it across. Like I said, we've got a couple of players from abroad as well. They need to adjust to the Premier League. So we need to obviously give them time. But hopefully before 10 games, we've got our first win. Unlike Daniel Farke. Nice little ball inside. Here's Rashika. Beautifully done to Norman. Trying to play the round back. Trying to find Talese behind him. He can't do it. Now Leicester City, Grimaldo, touch inside to Madison. What can they do? Look a bit flat at the moment, Leicester City. Here's Tielemans. Nice little ball outside though to Al Brighton, who's playing right wing back today. Give him a bit of space, it's fine. Back off him, back off him, that's it. Nicely done. And again, Norwich defending well and in numbers. Can we get rid of it? Down the line, beautifully done. Here's Talisis. Now counter attack time for Norwich City, Cantwell. Trying to find Talisis again and Leicester City all over the shop. And here's Talisis barging down on the goal. Here's Talisis again. Cuts inside Talisis. Oh my word, what a finish. Right, Pegasus. Top mins and Norwich leading the first half here at Carr Road. Leicester in behind. A great start for Norwich. Talisis has kept on running. Fafana backing away and backing away. And then look at the angle and the finish. Beautiful. Two minutes to go till half time and Norwich are leading 1 0. Here's Max Ahrens now, down the line to Mbuku. Again, nice little link-up play by the two youngsters. Touch inside to Billy Gilmore, on loan from Chelsea this season. Campwell, nice little spin-out. Giannolos, I'm going to call him Giannis, or Giannacoupolis, or I've got a bloody call. I'm just going to call him Gianni Blue. Blah, blah, blah. I, don't have no, <laughs> I have no idea how to pronounce these damn Greek names. Apologies all round. But one done at half-time. Norwich looking good into the second half now. Like I say, if we can get three points here, be up and running this season, I'll be happy as Larry. Here's Janlis, a nice side to Tollis, touch inside to Norman, nicely done to Rashik, a great little play, ball over the top, Cantwell's in, Cantwell, what a save from Schmeichel, he's still in the mix though, Cantwell back inside to Rashika, they're all backing away, Cantwell again, oh it's gone in, this time Schmeichel's unsighted and Todd Cantwell makes it 2-0, Norwich are in dreamland here, what arm push up, easy work, baby food as we say in Jamaica, oh my goodness, 2-0 Norwich, Carol Massid, a beeping and beasting, beautiful, touching inside, Rashika, look at why, why Leicester back it up, and Campwell, oh, just caught Shemichael wrong-footed, he's had a great game today, but it was a soft goal to concede, okay, Norwich City are 30 minutes away from gaining three points this, today in this game, here's Tillemans, trying to find Patson Daka, and again, he's just look a bit flat without Jamie Vardy up front, here's Madison, I must admit, we defended really well. Nice little one-twos in there. Leicester trying to get a move on. And Tim Krul still keeping it cool in goal. Palms it away. Out of danger, not back into the mix. 24 minutes left to play now. Leicester all of a sudden trying to wake up. But Rashika intercepts it well. Can we find another one? Here's Campwell. Ball out wide to Mbuku. 
The young Frenchman putting that speed on again. Mbuku cuts inside. Little dribble. Nice move. Gilmore back into Rashika. Who spun move again? Rashika. And there is Shamichael with the save. Corner ball Norwich. Gilbert's on now. The youngster. The Youth Academy legend. Ball's whipped in. Headed away though by Mbuku. Nicely done. Back outside to Norman again. What can Norman do? Back into Armada. Here's the edge line. Armada. Oh, always rising. Could have been three. Rule Fox knows. That was close. Brendan Rodgers hasn't got a clue what's going on today. Last seven minutes now. Still trying to hold on. Touch inside Cissé to Tollis. Check it out now. Look at Leicester City for Farnas pushing forward. Or Brighton's pushing forward. Leicester needed to do this earlier on in the game. Might be too little too late now. 85th minute. Iniacho takes a spin move. Iniacho, Tim Krul. Keeping it cool as always. What a save from the Dutchman. Into the final minute now. Norwich City. A minute away from getting their first win of the season. Like I so said, we've been handed an absolute doozy of a start with Man City, Liverpool and Arsenal in our opening five games. But, my Lord, if we can get three points here against Leicester, you never know the players start believing. Nice little ball inside to Dowell. We're trying to get a spin move in there. Might have a little kick in there. No penalty to the referee. But there is the final whistle. Norwich City 2, Leicester City 0. Leicester were poor today, but Norwich, let's speak about them. They were amazing. And look at Rule Fox with his nice suede sliders on. He don't care, man. Rule Fox, three points in the bag. A home win for Norwich. And we're up and running. That's right. Give me some damn interviews. Where's Jeff Stelling? Richard Keyes? What's going on, brothers? All right. The game looked really difficult one for you beforehand. So was this an excellent win? Were you surprised by the victory? Absolute liberties. Bruh. I set up the team all week, Monday to Friday, to win a game on Saturday. You mean, why, why am I surprised by the win? We're a good team, man. Honestly, that's to go down a very impressive win. I'm sure you're happy with the 2-0 scoreline. How satisfied are you with the team's overall performance? Um, I have faith in the boys. I know they can do these things. A lot of new players around the block that have just come to the team. But I have faith this team will stay up quite comfortably, all right? I knew he was very pleased with the result. But did you wonder where the win would come from? Their keeper, Schmeichel, was magnificent today. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, Casper was good, man. He was good, but Casper turned into the friendly ghost for Cantwell's goal. Where is he for that one, huh? 2-0 win is 2-0, bro. Doesn't matter what the keeper does, the scoreline says it all. All right, cool, man. Peace out, bro. Liberties, man. So, <clears throat> back in the transfer market, towards the end of the window, we managed to get another player in, Adama. I say Adama, I think it's Adam Karabak. And again, look at this beast. He beasted and feasting, 72 rated, 17 year old Czech Republic player. Can play on the left wing, centre mid, attacking mid. Uh, probably didn't need him, but you know, the more attacking players I think we've got for this relegation battle, the better. And again, he can step in quite comfortably. You can also step into the cup games, keep our main 11 fresh. So Carabat did join as well. We couldn't really get anyone else in, the money had gone. Uh, you know what I mean? There's only so many blooming cakes that Delia Smith can cook, you know what I'm saying? There's only so many <laughs> Richard Kipling crap she can sell. So we did get Carabat in, uh, even though his bloody agent turned up in his damn jogging pants. Oh, he turned up in his bloody pyjamas, man. Come on, bro. Get yourself a decent agent. You turn up in a suit, this brother turns up looking like he's going to sleep. All right. <clears throat> so we press on with the press on. Will Carabat make his debut? We've got Arsenal on the way. A real tester again. If we can get a point here, I'll be very happy. Leno's in goal for them. Callum Chambers, Amari, Gabriel, and Tierney make the back four. Thomas Partey, Xhaka in midfield. Saka, Odegaard, Martinelli. And up top, Lacazette. Not bad at all. They do have Ben White on the bench. Ronaldo as well on the bench in there. And Ketia. No sign of a Bamiyang though. For Norwich, Tim Krul still keeping it cool in goal. Aarons, St. Just, Cissé and Janolus. I cannot say his name. <laughs> Lees Melu comes in for Gilmore. With Cantwell and Norman. Umboku, Rashik and Talisis make the front three. So only Gilmore, the only change. We've got Cole Palm on the bench. Bench Karabak and Almada on the bench as well. I think Armada will Max start making some starting games soon because that brother's too good to be on the damn bench. But let's get into this. Here's Lacazette. Like I say, if we can stay compact, stay well, we know we can keep clean sheets now. The boys have faith. Nice one, Tim Krul, keeping it cool. I have faith we can maybe beat Arsenal here. Here's Tolises. Nice little move inside. Rashika plays the ball over Todd to Campbell. What a start to the season. He's had some say in the call up for England indeed. Campbell, nice to touch inside. Tolises trying to get on that right. Pegasus. And in the end, easy for Leno. Good opportunity though for, Le uh, for Norwich City. Here's Arsenal now, taking that short corner. Here's Odegaard. Trying to find the feet in the middle. They've got Lacazette in there. Trying to go back stick though towards Saka. There is Saka there! Oh my goodness, what a save. Knocked back in by Thomas Partey and Saka with the shot. And Tim Krul still keeping it cool. Here's Granite Xhaka to Thomas Partey. 
Nice little switch outside. This is nice from Arsenal. Here's Odegaard. Switch inside. Odegaard. Oh, my goodness. Left Pegasus right across the face of goal. Out of nowhere. A wonder goal for Arsenal. The Norwich players are looking at each other, but they can't do anything about that. Why the hell does Arteta look like Joe Pelucci? <laughs> he was like... <laughs> Why does he look like every character from the, from the Godfellas film? Ha <laughs> ha! Hey, I'm making that you can't refuse. What the hell's going on here? Oh, nice little block there, though, from Cisse. Hey, beautiful. Here's Mbuku. Lays it back in. Referee, come on, man. What's all that about? Liberties with sly tackles, man. I don't believe this. Half-time whistle does blow, though. Arsenal do lead 1-0 at half-time. Here come Arsenal again. Martinelli tries to shoot from distance. And again, Cisse is there like an absolute brick wall, this guy. Oh, Mbuku makes a mistake, though, giving the ball back away. Here's Lacazette. Can Arsenal make it two again? Cisse is in there. Oh, my God. Look like Dalsim from Street Fighter 2 with them long legs. Here's Mbuku now. Nicely done. Played out to Lise Melu, the Frenchman. What can he do now? And Norwich have been in this game, you know. The whole time, Arsenal had a couple of chances. Nice little switch out again. This is beautiful. And Norwich are in. Talisi switches it across. Oh, it's just behind Camwell and Norman. Oh, that was a decent chance for Norwich. Again, C stays in the right place at the right time. Can Norwich find this equaliser? Arsenal on the back foot again. Touch inside. Here's Mbuku. Waiting for the overlapping run. Oh, I can't find Aaron's referee. Come on, man. Absolute liberties. Mbuku gets up, though. Wins the rebound. Here's Rashika. Back outside to Norman. To Salisis. Waiting for the overlap run for the Greekman. Ah. And the ball given away, though. Last 22 minutes now. Norwich need to find something soon. Otherwise, Arsenal will get this W. Outside to Gabriel. Back inside to Xhaka. Intercepted well again, though, by Norman. And here's Rashika. Over the top to Todd Cantwell. Cantwell with a touch. And Gabriel just has the pace to get back in there. Arsenal surviving just by the skin of their teeth. Last minute now, into injury time. Here come Norwich again. Can they finally find this equaliser? Nice little touch inside. Here's Karabak. The Czech Republic new lad. Oh, touch off. God, doesn't fall kindly though to the Norwich City player. And Arsenal get all three points. Uh, I'm disappointed with the 1-0 defeat, to be honest with you. We play brilliant here at the Emirates. And we're lucky that that one goal from Odegaard separates the teams. We need to be more clinical. Can't be too downhearted though, really, to be fair. I think everyone knows uh, Kabak has been struggling for form recently. People are interested why he left him out of the lineup. Um, I, well, I'll be honest with you, bro. Kabak's on loan. I've just spent nearly 15 million on two centre halves. So if I don't play them, man, Delia Smith's going to slap my fed. You know what I mean? So what am I supposed to do? Huh? What am I supposed to do? It was always going to be a tough game in an informed team, but are you disappointed with your team's performance? Could things have been different? Um, no. I'm more concerned the fact that Arteta's head looks like a Lego man's head. That's what I'm concerned about. Have you seen the size of his head, man? Bruh, seriously. Man, that needs sorting out, man. Arsenal got turned uh, turned out to be uh, the winner before half-time. There was plenty left in the game, but you couldn't make the breakthrough. It was missing from performance today. Um, obviously, just the goal. But to be fair, we played brilliant. We, we matched Arsenal everywhere on the pitch. The older guys scored a wonder goal. That That's won it. it. What can Thank I say? All right, cool. We'll be back next week, bruh. All right, so three points in the bag. We need at least a point here at home to Watford. I want all three, really. This is a relegation battle fight. This is a six-point, and let's not lie about it. And any teams that's come up from the championship or come up with Norwich, in theory, Norwich have the beating of them. They always smash the championship teams. Armada's in there this time as well. Cole Palmer makes his debut as well. Beautiful. So hopefully we get all three points today. St. Just, C.C. Janos, and Adams still making the back lineup with Tim Krul, keeping it cool as always. Watford on their 85th manager this season already. Ben Foster, Conti, Truste Kong, Casabelli and Rose. All them guys will get a chance to manage the team, no doubt, at some point. <laughs> Sars in there. Grilich, Etipodo and Dennis up front as well. 4-1, 4-1. So they are going defensive as hell. Let's hopefully Norwich can break them down. Let's get into this, brothers. So corner ball, five minutes in. Norwich putting that early pressure on already. Nice little ball in. Rashika's underneath it. Can't get that win that header though. Campbell's trying to get the rebound. He does. Knocks it inside to Thiago Amalde. Oh, good shot from the Argentine. Technique, touch, and a shot from the Argentinian. He's going to be a superstar in this division. Here's Tolisis as well. Good start to the season for him. Nice little ball inside. Rashika dropping deep for the striker. Ball played in beautifully to Norman. Oh, no. Send him packing, Norman. Nice little ball on the back. Talisis. Oh, trying to find Rashika. My goodness, that guy. Norman left that dude last, last week. Here's Cole Palmer now. Nice little ball round to Max Ahrens. Max Ahrens takes that second heavy touch. Can he find a man? Whips it in. Rashika. Oh, beautiful. 
What the rass was Ben Foster doing? Rashika with the looping header and Norwich lead at Carrow Road. What a start, what we needed. And Rashika's up and running with his Premier League account. Norwich won, Watford nil. What the hell was Ben Foster wafting at? Was it a fart? Was it a pigeon? What the hell was he doing? Either way, Norwich lead. Max Ahrens down the wing, whips it in. Rashika, no marker whatsoever. And it must have been the sunlight. Because look, <laughs> what was he clawing at? What the hell are you doing? Who cares? 1 0 Norwich. 10 minutes to go till half time. Watford trying to find a foot in this game, but Norwich are just all over them today. I love the high pressure, high intensity. There's no foul, referee. Come on, man. Get sort of your thing out, referee. All right, here's Sissoko. Played inside to Ismail Saad. The only probably bit of danger man they've got. Bit of pace. Um, bit of pace. That brother's fast as hell. Try to go back stick. But Tim Krul clutches it out of the air. Good defending from Norwich. Into the second half now. His semi, like I said, there wasn't much going on in the first half after that. Norwich have kind of keep Watford at bay, keep Watford down and out with only one cross on goal so far. Here's Dennis to Saar. Back inside to Dennis from distance, off the bar. Rebound, it's in. Oh, Norwich have conceded. Watford have equalised. Oh, no. Nicely done, linesman. I appreciate the love, Phil Mitchell. <laughs> Beautiful. Look that dude from Crystal Mays back in the day. All right, here's Cissé. Ah, come on, Cissé. It's a two brilliant game so far this episode. Don't be giving the ball away like this. Less than half an hour to go. Watford are trying to get into this now. Conte pushing forward. Ranieri's men. Little ball whipped in. And there is Cissé again. Oh my goodness, this guy's a colossal. Here's Rashika now. Can we find that second goal? Norwich will need it to feel comfortable. We've got to run on the far side. Ah, I didn't find him. Here's Janelos. Nice little, I can't say his name still. We need a nickname for that guy. I just call him G. Nice little ball outside. Cole Palmer from Man City. Cole Palmer onto his left. Pegasus. And Ben Foster sees it come through this time. 15 minutes to go now. Norwich trying to get more of a foothold in this game. Get that second goal if they can. Max Aaron spin moving like he's in diversity on that wing. Touch back inside. Here's Thiago Armada. Nicely done. Ball inside to Rashik. He's trying to find some space for the shot. Watford have got numbers back. Rashika finds a bit of space now. Inside. Armada off the inside of the post. Oh, the Argentine nearly got his first goal for Norwich. Last eight minutes now. Still nervous fans here at Car Road. We need that second goal. Beautiful football again from Norwich. Played inside. Here's Rashika off the post again. Ben Foster beaten. And you have to admit the football that Norwich are playing is unbelievable. Corner ball now. Norman. Nice little ball whipped in. Trying to find Gilbert the youngster. Punched away by Foster. Touched back inside by Cole Palmer. He's just going to corner flag it. Corner flag it surely. Oh no, nice little spin move inside. Palmer's going for it. Here's Cole Palmer goes near post, drags it wide. Well, that might be all she wrote, hopefully. Long ball into the middle of midfield. And that's it, the referee blows his whistle. We'll take a 1 0. We should have maybe won 2 or 3 0, but we'll take a 1 0. Caro faithful in their masses. Six points today, that's what we wanted. Five games played so far, six points on the board. We're kind of aiming for at least 10 points every nine games. That hopefully gets us to the sort of magic 40 points towards the end of the season. But two clean sheets in this episode. Only one conceded. We've got to be happy with that. Uh, you got the goal in the first half. You look like you'd gone to finish comfortable winners. Uh, what happened? Uh, I'll be honest with you. Yeah, Ben Foster made some good saves. We did hit the post a couple of times. But like I said, in other games, there'd be certain games we need to be more clinical in. But I'm happy with the three points. He managed to get the deciding goal to get the win in the end. They didn't see much between the two teams. Uh, but you're always confident of the win. Yeah, I'll be honest with you, I was always confident going into this one. I know Watford have got a lot of pace on the counter-attack, but we dealt with that well. We defended well as a unit, and we got the goal. It turned out to be a good day for your boys. Excellent result, but you subbed Rashika off early. Was it a tactical decision, or are you looking to send uh, to players a message? Um, Rashika's ran his heart out for the first four games. We've got a good youngster coming through the ranks called Gilbert. He needed some experience as well. Rashika needs to rest it for bigger games going forward. All right, cool. Take it easy, bro. So... We are off the bottom. We are in 13th position. Beautiful. Still minus two on the goals. Um, but like I say, if we can keep this up and stay away from that relegation zone, I'll be happy as anybody in Mission Impossible. Uh, let's hope we can still deliver those points week in, week out. Like I said, we do need another four points in the next five games, ideally. Uh, so I do believe we've got Everton, Burnley and Brighton, I do believe, the next three games. I flicked away too quickly from that first page. 
Um, but that's another three points, hopefully somewhere in there. I'll play the cup games off camera, we're not too fussed. Unless we get to a semi-finals, then I'll show you them. But other than that, I'm going to play the cup games off camera. It's all about Mission Impossible, staying in the Premier League. So hopefully I'll have another episode out next Sunday for you. We'll keep bashing these out every Sunday with three games in them and see if we can keep this Norwich team up and running. So this is the final squad going into the January transfer window. I'm happy with the squad, I must admit. Maybe in January we can maybe get rid of a couple more and bring some more in. But at the moment, I think this team will be enough. I say by January, I want about 25 points, ideally. That would be ideal. 25 points on the board. And I know we're kind of somewhere in the mix of keeping this team up. You never know. I might even bring Hernandez back from Lone, from Middlesbrough. Uh, there's a few other brothers in here that I'm looking at as well. So, yeah, so far so good. The signings are looking good. Uh, hopefully some new signs in January. Hopefully this squad can play well together. They seem to be gelling well. The back two seem to be doing their thing. If we can get a win maybe against Burnley or Brighton, that'll send us on beautifully well. So smash the right side of that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. Wagwan, wow, welcome to the channel. We're still on the road to 5K. So tell your sister, tell your nan, tell your grand, tell your mother, tell your cat to subscribe, brothers. All right, peace and love, brothers and sisters. And I'll see you on the flip side. Peace. Say no